If you're needing some assistance stringing your tumble track bed, watch our step-by-step -step video to guide you through the process. Springing the tumble track bed will be quicker and easier using two people. We recommended using gloves with the spring tool to make the springing of the bed easier and safer. Prepare the tumble track bed by laying it out flat within the tumble track frame with the logo facing up. Decide which end will be the dismount end and start springing from that end first. Attach the springs to the frame holes along one side of the tumble track, skipping the 10th hole. Be sure that the spring hook points down. Begin attaching the bed to the frame by hooking both the first and second spring to the first D-ring on the bed. The third spring will attach to the second D-ring and so forth. After springing six or seven springs on the first side, move to the other side of the tumble track. The person using the spring tool should tightly hold the spring with one hand while using the tool in the other. This will prevent the spring from shooting off of the D-ring if it slips from the tool. Gloves will help to protect the hands during this process. Continue to spring the bed following the same pattern as the first side, making sure to attach two springs to the first D-ring. Then, follow with one spring in each D-ring after that. It is important to skip the 10th frame hole on both sides of the track. No D-ring should ever be skipped. If the bed begins to wrinkle, you can skip another frame hole where the wrinkle is and continue to spring the bed as before. If you skip a frame hole, make sure to skip the same frame hole on the opposite side to make a smooth, wrinkle-free bed. When springing the bed with the spring tool, be sure no one's standing directly across from you in case a spring slips off. Allow the first person to stay seven to 10 springs ahead of the second person using the spring tool. The first person will spring all the way to the end of the tumble track bed, making sure no D-rings are skipped. The last D-ring will be double sprung in the same manner as the start of the bed. When everything is finished, there will be one to three extra frame holes at the end of the tumble track frame. The second person will finish by double springing their last D-ring, the same as the start of the tumble track bed. The additional frame holes at the end are there in case you end up skipping another frame hole to make the bed tighter. Your tumble track will come with four end caps, two lefts and two rights. Find the coordinating end cap for each side. Open the rubber end cap and slide it into the end of the tumble track. To attach the Velcro, peel back the film at the start of the strip. Lay roughly six inches of Velcro along the underside of the metal frame, making sure not to cover up the holes. Wrap the Velcro over the end caps, peeling the film off as you gently place the Velcro along the metal rail. Once the Velcro has been laid, match the Velcro on the pads with the Velcro on the frame. The pads will be placed over the top of the springs for safety. If you have any further questions or concerns in regards to springing your tumble track, please give our sales staff a call at 800-331-4362 or go to our website and use our contact form at www.tumbletrack.com.